Hey everyone, I hope you guys are well and staying healthy and enjoying a few degrees drop in temperature. That is always super exciting for me this time of year. As you know, this is the season for packages. You get them on your porch from Amazon, UPS, the post office, and I started something last year that I thought was kind of cool to see the reaction of that I want to share with you guys. I shared it last year in a video, but I wanted to show you a couple things that I was tweaking this year, and maybe you can get some inspiration and um, do one for your home as well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. These are the supplies that I am using this year. Some of it I am reusing from last year. Some of it um, I'm kind of tweaking a little bit. So for those of you that saw the video last year, you will recognize some of this. And yes, I do have my Christmas decor up um, and I will be doing a video this week. So stay tuned for that. But back to this. So what I did was I didn't want a huge box. I didn't want a tiny box. This one from Target happened to be kind of the perfect size that I wanted. Um, it sits great on my bench on my porch. Um, and I don't know, it was just kind of cute. It, it was kind of a inside the home scene. Um, here is the scene of a kitchen, so you could kind of go either way. And obviously it doesn't have to, it can be whatever. This just happened to come in the mail, like I said, perfect size, and so I went with it. But I cut it down to size. Um, I cut this just a little bit, and then obviously I cut off um, the folding flaps. And I love this part right here, and I will show you why in just a second. I am doing candy this year, um, in addition to a couple other things, but last year I didn't do candy at all. And I tried to find more healthy things and people um, I noticed weren't so into that. Like they're just looking for a quick snack and what I had was quick, but I don't know, it just didn't work. And so I ended up kind of having to switch it out a little bit midway last year. So I thought I would just start out this way this year. Um, what I did was uh, at the end of Halloween, I got a lot of candy that was on um, clearance. These are not, these are the Reese's um, Christmas trees, uh, but the other candy I was able to find at a good price um, after Halloween. And then I am doing the uh, Ritz crackers in both peanut butter and the cheese. And then uh, just waters this year. I did uh, Coke and Diet Coke last year and Honestly, the thing that went um, the most was the water. So I just went ahead and did only water this year and it's cheaper, so that's great. And then um, I have these uh, solo cups just so that I can kind of compartmentalize um, a couple different things. I took these little um, index cards and just wrote peanut butter on one, cheese on the other so that I can separate the two so people don't have to be like rummaging around, especially right now, um, to find what they want and it's just a little bit easier. I have these uh, granola bars from Costco. These are super good, 100 calories per bar. Not that that really matters, but it kind of makes me feel a little bit healthier. <laughs> and then I am reusing the sign that I used last year, um, just because it was already made and um, I didn't see the need in reinventing the wheel. So this is the message that is on this. And it just says, thank you so much for working hard days so that my Christmas shopping and let's be honest, yearly shopping can be easier. Please share with your family our sincere gratitude for sharing you during such a busy time of the year. Please take some treats for your route today in hopes that it will make this day a little bit easier. Many thanks and then our family. So I just made this on PicMonkey. You can make it wherever. It doesn't have to be fancy. The whole idea is to just share with these folks that you appreciate what they are doing and the long hours that they um, are working to help make your um, shopping a little bit easier. So, uh, like I said, I just made this on PicMonkey. I added um, those little trucks, put that message on there, um, and called it a day. And what I did was I just took one of the um, flaps from that same box and I put these um, kebab skewers on the back of it. 
just to kind of stabilize it a little bit. And then um, my message, I taped to that as well and I just put it in a um, sheet protector and just stuck it on there like that. That way if it snows, if it's windy, um, it doesn't get dirty, you can replace um, the message if you need to and it just slides out just like that. So let me show you why I was showing you that I liked that little um, edge on the box. So what I found was these kebab skewers fit perfectly into those holes. And let me see if I can get this to zoom in so that you can see well. There we go. So those just slide right inside of those little holes amazingly well. And then you can just push it down to the height that you want that to be. So for me, um, this is about perfect right here because I want it to be taller than my waters um, so that they can read the whole message. So I just slide that in there. And then I went ahead and um, just put these waters in a container. This one is from Target. Um, it's one of those kind of more slender sized ones. But again, you can totally use whatever. Um, I wanted to put a container in here last year. I did not. Um, this just makes it a little bit easier to kind of keep these contained and not have them fall all over um, the rest of the stuff once people take them out. Um, just a little bit more manageable. And then the next thing is I'm going to put these solo cups in here so that I can compartmentalize um, my different bars. So in here I will put the ones from Costco. Not very gracefully though. And then the next ones, I will put the um, crackers. So again, I'm just gonna separate them. That way people can get um, what they want a little bit easier and not have to touch, not have to touch so much. And then my cards here, I am just going to kind of slide in the back of these cups. That way people know what is what. And then the rest of the space in here, as you can see, I have a decent amount of space. I am just going to throw my candy in. And I'm gonna kinda try to keep it on the side over here, that way they don't have to reach kinda down in there. I'm sure it'll all kinda move around, but whatever. And I'm just kind of mixing it together here so that they can get a good idea of what there is without having to um, root around in there. And when all is said and done, this is what it looks like. Super easy, super simple, not very expensive at all. I mean, the water is cheap. Like I said, I got the candy on clearance. Um, the bars are from Costco, so those are reasonably affordable. And the Ritz crackers, I got uh, 12 for like three bucks at Walmart. So, um, you know, you can keep this out as long as you want to depending on when you do your Christmas shopping. So for me, this um, goes out about the beginning of November because I like to be totally done with my Christmas shopping um, by December 1. Um, and so this is going out before this video goes out. <laughs> going out on the porch, that is. Um, but once my packages start rolling in, um, that's when I go ahead and stick it out there because I want everybody to um, be able to see our appreciation for what they are doing for our family. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this out on the porch and then I will give you the final look. This is how it looks on our porch. I hope you can get a good look at that. It's still kind of sunny up here. Um, but it just sits right here on this bench and they see it right as they walk up the steps. You could put it um, on the floor of your porch or pretty much anywhere that is accessible um, for them. Just make, make it work for your current situation. But 
Um, I just put this out in the morning, I leave it here all day, and then at night I go ahead and take it inside. Friends, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you were able to get a few different ideas to maybe incorporate into your current situation in an effort to just bless those who are helping to make your holiday season a little less stressful. If you are not following over on Instagram, I just encourage you to jump over there and follow along. You will see um, pictures and I'm trying to do more videos. You guys are asking for me to do um, Insta stories and it just makes me feel so weird, um, but I'm going to try because there are things that I wanna show you during the holidays and I'm just gonna have to put my pride aside and just take one for the team and do that because that's what you guys are asking for. So I will try, fingers crossed, I will try. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time friends, I just encourage you to be intentional about the life that you want to create so that you can show up in every single moment feeling as if you are meant to be there. I will see you in my next video, bye-bye.